Hello, I'm Pixelated Twix, and welcome back to another episode of Journey to Redemption. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back. This is a really impromptu episode of Journey to Redemption. It is Sunday night, and I should have recorded this already, but I've been kind of procrastinating, playing other games. I'm really enjoying my time in Boundless. But today, we are going to spend a little time with the Champion family because I think it's about time we do so. Uh, Nico is just as important to the storyline as Tatiana and I figured it was the perfect opportunity for us to get caught up with them and see what's going on in the household. Um, I did pop in and Nico is in here talking to his dad. Um, Mason is a little concerned about um, Nico and his his sudden uh, procrastination about choosing his college. Um, and I've kind of gotten come in on the middle of the conversation. He's congratulating him on his grades being excellent, but he's like, how come I haven't seen any applications come in the mail? And he goes, admitting to his father that he is reconsidering not going to college. It's not good. Uh, Mason isn't really happy about that because he wants his son to follow in his footsteps. He's like, son, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities not going to school. And I don't want you to struggle. I won't, Dad. I'm, I think I'm making the right decision for me. I know you want me to be a doctor. That's not my path in life. Listen, son, I just want the best for you. That's all. I, I understand that that may not be your dream, but you don't have to be a doctor. You can be something else. Just go to school. I'll think about it. But that's just not... It's not what I want. Okay, well, at least Nico finally admitted to his dad that this is, you know, going to college is the last thing he wants to do. He's just ready to go on with his life, and he feels like another four years in school will just feel like high school again. And frankly, he's over high school. Um, Melisande is out. Is she? We need to bring her back home. She's been out all day, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I have a knack for keeping everyone up early or late, uh, especially Nico. I feel bad for him. I've just turned him into a complete night owl, and uh, he's got school in the morning, and so what the heck? So does Bianca. By the way, you guys, Bianca has grown up. She is now a child, um, and she looks a lot like Melisande, but she has her dad's eyes. Um, so let me just go in here real quick and show you what's going on. She is uh, a whiz kid, and um, when I went into cast, I checked her traits. She is kind of a goofball, um, so she's very playful, and I think she kind of gets that from her brother. And if you guys didn't notice, or if you're new to uh, the series, she followed her brother around constantly. Why is he getting back up? What's going on with him? Why is he embarrassed? Praise for grades. Okay, he's happy about that. He's embarrassed about what? Awkward conversation. He can't go to sleep because he's probably just... That conversation with his dad about going to college has got him a little worried. He doesn't want to disappoint his parents. Um, but in the, at the same time, he wants to be his own man. Um, and with everything else that's going on in his life, with the sudden disappearance of Tatiana, her kind of falling off the grid and not answering his phone calls, um, and <laughs> the resurgence of a possible relationship with Tempest. Um, let me just check that relationship, by the way. Oh, okay, that's Tatiana. I was about to freak out for a second. I mean, it's there. Oh, wow. Okay, wait a minute. There... Their boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, so interesting. I'm kind of thinking that he um, rekindled that relationship just because it was familiar. And at right now, Nico needs something stable in his life. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that the relationship with the Tempest would be stable because she did cheat on him with his best friend. Um, and he's kind of fixed that relationship with Gio. Um, wrong person, wrong person. Um, yeah, he's still really good friends with Gio. They're still best of friends. So he's just, he's just 
doesn't want to hold on to the past and, and he wants to move on, but he definitely wants to leave Willow Creek and college just isn't his, in his, um, his future, um, as much as his dad would like to, like it to be. Um, and Mason is embarrassed as well. I think he's worried about his son's future as, and he just doesn't want Nico to struggle. Um, Nico wasn't specific about what his dreams were, but I can tell you he has been spending a little more time at school um, after um, uh, with after school activities with the drama club and he's got bitten by the acting bug. So this may be something that he might want to pursue. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, there I'm going to go ahead and let them all go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. And I've gotten everyone up. Um, Bianca is all dressed and you guys, I did, you, I don't know if you saw earlier, but you probably did. I did change her bedroom around a little bit because, um, for some reason, well, not for some reason, her bed was still the toddler bed. So she was probably sleeping somewhere on the couch or probably in someone else's bed. So I went ahead and fixed that up. Um, but everyone is getting ready to, um, start their day. Um, Mason has two days off, so he will be at home. Um, which Melisande is excited about, but she's got some mixed feelings about that. She's been moping around a lot lately. Um, and today is actually the first time that I've seen her with a smile on her face. Um, but lately she's been a little worried about that conversation that she had with Grandma Lily. And for those who you, of you that don't know, let me catch you up really quick. Um, Grandma Lily happens to be Tatiana's grandmother, and I call her Grandma Lily because of that very reason. Um, but her name is Lily May, and um, Tatiana, of course, has a child with Nico. He has no idea, but Melisande, um, she, I don't know if she's aware of that yet, but um, I believe she is, actually. If I remember correctly, Grandma Lily did uh, let her know that they have um, that Nico, that Tatiana is pregnant or was pregnant at the time. And um, Melisan was basically like, I don't want to have anything to do with the child because of where Tatiana comes from. She's not good enough for my son. So Melis and Grandma Lily basically told her, I know where you're from. You know, um, I know about your past. I've been living in this town long enough to know that uh, you come from the same side of tracks as we do. Um, but Melisande is a little worried about, what is this? Hey, I've heard you became friends with Bella Goth. She's pretty cool. Bella Goth is actually um, Melisande's socialite buddy, uh, which is perfect timing. Um, Melisande is a little worried about people finding out that she did not grow up in the upper echelon circles. No, she grew up in a very poor, with a very poor family, and she's tried all her might to kind of um, make it disappear, so to speak. Um, the only person that really doesn't care is Mason. Mason has, he knows exactly where she's from. Um, he, and he still loves her. Look at him. He, he was like, googling her when she came in um let's have her clean that up he loves his wife he knows exactly where she came from he doesn't care it doesn't matter to him uh, mason wasn't raised that way um but melisande isn't worried about mason or mason's family she's more worried about the social circles um that she is a part of like her friends bella goth and there's a girl here this is uh, she's about ready to age up i probably should age her up but um here, I'll show you really quickly. Where are the clubs? Here it is. She's in the high society club. Two of her best friends. Well, okay, they're not really friends. They're acquaintances. Would be Bella Goth and this girl named Hannah Roebuck. Now, Hannah, ironically enough, is more or less like Melisande um, than Melisande would care to admit. But Melisande has taken her under her wings um, because Hannah uh, reminds her of herself. Um, but she will not admit that to Hannah. Hannah comes from new money because a uh, estranged uncle gave her, uh, basically willed over all of his, his riches when he died because he couldn't stand any of his kids because they grew up to be spoiled brats. So she's come into new money. She doesn't know how to handle it. And Melisande has taken her under her wings. 
So there is a heart in there somewhere, guys. Melisande isn't all the way greedy and selfish and, and shallow. Yeah. All right. So um, since it's just them today, I think I will have them spend some time together. They normally do or they haven't been lately. And um, I'm going to have her hop in the shower and I'm going to have him do the same. Uh, yeah, Marcus, we, we already know. What is this? What? When answering a question, Nico used forbidden words. It really shocked the teacher. Nico is carrying that an attitude from home to school. That conversation with his dad must have really bothered him. So now he's acting up in class. So um, Mason is going to, yeah, he's going to say, punish him. Nico was raised better than that. He has manners. He should. So go ahead. Yes. So that's a manner increase, emotional control decrease. I'm just going to check on his emotional emotional control. It's probably at an all-time low. Let's just see. Yeah. It, it's not good, you guys. It's not good. Um, but his manners and responsibility are awesome. Conflict resolution is null. <laughs> He's... There's none. Um, oh, this is how we check traits. Okay, so let's check the traits of Bianca really quick. Um, so Bianca's traits are, she's a goofball. Yeah, like I said, she is a jokester um, and she loves to play pranks. Um, she's just all around, just a cute, sweet little girl. Um, really nothing like her mom, um, which I don't know. Maybe Melisson really is cute somewhere under that. Cold, cold personality. Um, but she does love her family, so maybe, you know. What am I doing? What am I doing? I am I'm doing nothing. Um, I've noticed too that Melisanda's gained a little weight. I'm actually not mad about it. But she's been spending a lot of time just chilling out on the couch. It's winter time, so you know, you know how it is when it's winter. We all just we all cuddle up, um, enjoy rich foods, candy, whatever, whatever we can find because we're hibernating. And um, that's just how she's feeling right now. She's hiding under bulky sweaters and she's just like, you know what? I'll get this summer bod uh, ready uh, come the new year. And oh, bless you. Oh my gosh, Mason, honey, what is that on your skin? Oh my gosh. <laughs> heck is that okay let me have him uh order some medicine does he have any in his, in his inventory he does awesome take that dude oh my gosh um Mello sounds like look you need to go lay down i'm not trying to get sick i don't want to pass this on to bianca he's feeling 100 percent better now um so i'm gonna have him get to know his wife a little bit um, maybe he'll try to whisper sweet nothings. He's feeling a little flirtatious, right? Um, mm, well, he's got a deep connection. So, I mean, that's close enough. They're, they're really cute, you guys. They really are. Melisande loves her family. She loves her husband. And as much as, as hard as I am on her, she does dote after her family. Um, She's not as proactive in Nico's life as she should be, but I think she feels like she's raised him. You know, he is a teenager. He's almost grown. He's 18 years old. He'll be out the house soon, and she feels like she's done a great job with him, and now her focus is on her other child. Um, so we'll just have them talk a little bit, and then I think what I'm going to do is have them go out. It's... Wednesday afternoon. What do you think about going somewhere? Let's get out of this house. Oh, I'm down for it. Yeah, let's let's do it. I could use some time out. Yeah, you've been kind of moping around lately, I've noticed. So, yeah, I think it's about time we go on a date. So why don't you go upstairs, get ready, and I'll or go in the bedroom, get ready. I'll take a shower, and we'll head out. That sounds good. I talked to Nico yesterday about school. Yeah, I know. I heard the conversation. Well, what do you think about him not going to, to college? I think Nico is, I think he's a, a mature enough to make that decision on his own, don't you think? 
I know you want him to follow in your footsteps like he did your father, but we all know that Nico isn't, that's not his path in life. Yeah, but this is just going to make his life more difficult, and I'm afraid that he's going to make some dumb decision, like sports. What's wrong with sports? He's good at it. Encourage him to do something that he loves. You know the risks. You know that he may or may not make it. Like a very small amount of athletes actually make GoPro. I'm just worried. You know what, Mason? Enough about Nico. Let's just enjoy each other's company. Let's just be a present with each other. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I like this little place. I do too. I'm glad that we came. I'm. We need to do this more often. I think it was a great idea that we went out for lunch, but I have to ask you something, and I've been wanting to ask you this for the last week or so. Yeah, I've been noticing that you've been walking around the house and not being quite yourself lately. You've been doing that more often than I'd like. What's going on? I need to ask you if you care about my past, if you care if I am, didn't come from a wealthy family. <sighs> Why would you ask that? Well, that comment about you not wanting Nico to depend on your wealth, I kind of do. It's not the same. I love you. I asked you to marry me. I knew where you came from. I just don't want our son to think that he's going to go through life on a meal ticket. I, I understand that. I just, I just want to make sure that I'm good enough for you. Why would that even cross your mind? If you weren't good enough for me, Melisande, I would have never married you. Besides, you should know me better than that. I know. I just, what brought this about? Nothing. I just, I don't know. Just forget it. Let's enjoy dinner. All right, so Nico decided to take advantage of his parents being away on their little date. It's been a while. They haven't gotten home. They left early in the afternoon, but um, he's not complaining. Did she leave? She must have left. She must have because I don't see her. Uh, she wouldn't have wandered into his parents' room, would she have? Nope. Okay, so she's gone. All right, well, um, as you can see, Tempest did apologize for cheating on Nico. And Nico has, for the most part, forgiven her. He can't fully trust her, and I don't think that's a great way to um, rekindle a relationship. But he is a little stressed out, and uh, so he's going to come over here and work out. This is just his way of blowing off some steam. He still misses and loves Tati, but Tati isn't here. And frankly, he's tired of all the disappointments. First, his uh, first love cheated on him. And now the the woman that the girl that he thought maybe he would spend the rest of his life with left with no um, without a word. Absolutely no word and has decided to ignore all his text messages and phone calls. So he's at his wits end with just relationships in general and I think he's just kind of biding his time with um with uh Tempest until he goes away that's his goal is to get the heck out of Willow Creek and where he doesn't have to to look back um where he doesn't have to be in in this environment at all um he's gonna miss his family he's definitely gonna miss his little sister but he knows that this is what's best for him is to move on with his life and so that's what he's going to do um, he knows that his father isn't going to be pleased with it, but at this point, he's just like, it's my prerogative. I do what I want to do, right? And we're going to go ahead and check on Bianca really quick. She has gotten herself together in bed, and I wonder if she did her homework. She did do her homework. She's such a cute and good little girl. She does have this project that she needs to get done, but we will take care of that another date. Yeah. Speaking of dates... They have made it home. Look, they're all cozied up on the couch. Well, Mason, oh, Mason's like, hey, meet me in the bedroom. And uh, she's all for it. 
Unless he's going to go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like he's about to go to sleep. He does this all the time. He'll flirt for a little bit and then she thinks, oh, Tempest is still, oh, you guys, Tempest was still here. So I'm, I see that you and my son have rekindled your relationship. Absolutely. I'm glad of that. I really wasn't too fond of that Tati girl. So, how's it going? He is a little distant, but he'll get over it. I hope so. I love him. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done what I did, but I asked him for forgiveness, and I want to move on. I want to do better. I'd be a better person. Well, I should hope so. Well, that was a friendly little exchange that they had. Huh. I wonder why I had to introduce them again, because I'm pretty sure she knows Tempest. Uh, at least I think I did. But there goes the Sims. I'm ruining my relationships over and over again. Tempest has made herself at home. Nico, it's late. It is late Thursday. I'm, But you know what? Like I said, Nico is such a night owl. Um, and he's just going to enjoy his time sitting here eating and chatting away with Tempest while she's here she's a bit of a nuisance but um like i said he's going to take full advantage of the situation while he can um i just noticed the option for exchange promise rings came up oh, okay they don't have high enough romance okay they ch exchanged promise rings once before but obviously that was broken off when she cheated on him and i'm going to keep going back to that because i'm really disappointed in nico because i think he can do better I really do. I really, really do. There's no sense of going back to that, to that, um, <clears throat> to the past, right? That's why we have exes. But um, again, Nico is, he's his own man. He's going to do what he wants to do. Um, and I don't necessarily think that he fully got over Tempest because he was still carrying around her pictures in his uh, phone. So um, there is that. And I noticed one thing. And I think he's going to go ahead and do it if I can find it again. And if I can't find it, we're just not going to do it. Where's it at? Um, maybe it was under... Was it under flirt? More choices? Yes. He's going to in invite her to stay the night. It's a little late. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. He just doesn't want her walking home this late by himself. Willow Creek is fairly safe, but why take the chance? And, of course, she's going to accept. All right, guys. With that note, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I do hope you enjoyed this part of Journey to Redemption. Let me know what you think about the relationship between uh, Tempest and Nico and the relationship between his mom and Tempest. Um, do you think that um, his mom will tell Tempest about the, the baby? Or do you think she'll continue to keep that little bit of information to herself? I don't know. Also, what do you think about Melisande's um, little secret about her past? She's a little insecure, and her husband has reassured her that he loves her, but um, the fact that she brought it up just goes to show you that she's not, she's, she doesn't believe that. Anyways, um, let me know in the comments below what you think, but before I leave you, if you're not a member of the family and you'd like to join the party, please, by all means, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. I upload at least three times a week. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Ciao.